Hi, Dr. Sarah Ferguson here, Uganda Conservation Coordinator and a Wildlife Veterinarian for Giraffe Conservation Foundation. And I'm here to tell you a little bit more about giraffe skull morphology. So here we go. So to begin, let's start with the male. And first off, how can we tell if this is a male? Firstly, you can see by the size, male skulls are significantly larger than female skulls. Also, male giraffe have very large, thick ossicones, which are these horns attached to their skull. Now these are, as you can see, bone actually attached to their skull, not like antlers and deer that fall off every year. Um, so these grow continually throughout their life and become very knobbly as males tend to fight each other. They get more calcification, making them thicker. Northern giraffe, such as the Nubian giraffe, which is a subspecies, also have this prominent median ossicone in the males, or this lump on their forehead. So that's a pretty significant giveaway that this is, in fact, an adult male giraffe. Other things that are cool to note are the very large eye sockets. Giraffe have very good eyesight. And also, because giraffe are ruminants, they don't have any incisors or teeth on their upper jaw. As you can see here, it's just a dental pad is what we call. So when they strip leaves off with their tongue, they grind leaves with their lower jaw, not pictured here, uh, against that dental palate, and it makes it into a mush that they then swallow and digest. They also have a very large nasal cavity here that gives them a very good sense of smell and may also help keep their brain cool with moving lots of air through this massive skull. Now moving to the female, you can appreciate just how smaller her head is compared to the males. The females also have smaller ossicones, thinner, as they don't fight like the males do with their head during necking for mates. Females also don't have as prominent of a median ossicone, it's more of a gentle bump on their forehead. And so that can also indicate that this is a female. Now like the male, she still has a very large eye socket for very large eyes and also still a ruminant, so no upper teeth on that upper jaw, just on the bottom jaw uh, for grinding leaves and other plant matter that they ingest. So there you have it. There's a very quick rundown on giraffe skull morphology and how to tell the difference between male and female. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.